Hello everyone. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to upload a text file into a Blackboard using Respondus. Okay. Let's say that you have a test bank in Notepad, right? You have a test bank. For example, in this uh, in this computer on my laptop, I have like about 15 questions, right? I save this under Notepad, okay? So make sure you save it under .txt, and then uh, I want to upload that to Blackboard using respondus okay some people do this manually but the school provide us with a program called respondus so let me show you how to do this uh, this video is dedicated to mr gabriel my best friend and my other primo which is uh, Mr. Sam, okay, so let me start with this. All right, this is the Respondus program. Okay, if I click help and about Respondus, uh, you need to download this program from Blackboard, right? Go to faculty resources and download the Blackboard. All right. Uh, here is the information that you need to have. Okay, first is the institution, the institutional name. Okay, you need to have this South Texas College, which is the institutional name, and then you need to have the local support contact, right? Which is in our case is Anna Pena, and this is her email address. You need to type it as it is. All right. And one more uh, piece of piece of information that you need is called activation code, right? So if you do not have activation code, you may not be able to install this program. So please contact Miss Anna Pena at this email address to get the activation code. Okay, without this, you will not be able to install the responders okay as always go to the help and check the latest information right in my case as of june 8 2020 right we use responders 4.0 okay do we need to update let's see let's find out check update well apparently there is no update needed so this is the latest version which is good otherwise you need to update all right, so once we're taking care of the setting up the responders, the next thing we need to do is to go to start ribbon. Oh, okay, you have start ribbon, edit, setting, and preview. Okay, since I already have a test bank on my notepad, in my notepad, so I'm going to import, right? I'm going to import these questions. And then type of file is plain text and file name. Here I have a I have a test bank is called Window 10 multiple choice true and false questions. I'm going to select this and then I'm gonna name this window. I'm going to name this window practice questions window practice questions okay all right so i'm going to click preview boom all right could not read question number three two drop from the list okay let me find out see what happened here question number two we cannot do it let me see if i can fix it in here okay here we go what's the problem here all right here we go i need to put a space 
so let's do one more time then okay i need to have a space so i'm going to go to desktop multiple choice here let's do one more time so we can get a clear cancel okay i'm going to go to browse again go to the desktop okay um, i just fixed the file so let me go to review again preview all right wow we need to have we have another issue warning note here let me see question were missing this question had no answer. Three. Okay, so let me see. What question is this? Question number three. Okay, let me fix this one first. Okay, uh, I was able to import the question from here, right? And then I'm going to go to preview to fix it, okay? Uh, Let's find out what happened, okay? Because I have a few warning here. Number one, okay, I usually check this. Here, okay. Here, okay. Okay, this one has no pictures. So I'm going to go here, modify. And then I'm going to post a pictures. Let's look at for our folders. Okay. I'm going to... I'm going to download this because I have a pictures computer folder where is it is this here here we go so I'm going to right click save images right I'm gonna name this as a folder see if they take the PNG file okay let me find out courses no here we go we go to here and then media upload okay images and then let me see if i can go to download here pictures right i think i downloaded to the picture no download here uh, where is that huh? did i say that here or is in the folder here we go i saved the file here okay now we have this all right now i think i have my folder there all right save changes all right so now it show you the pictures i'm gonna click next next right i just need to double check this to make sure they are okay all right Oh, this one, it doesn't have the question, so we need to fix that. No, 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 the question is there, all right. It's there. It's there, okay. Here, I have some question here. All right. Uh, here, we have a problem, right? Number eight, so let's fix this. Okay. You can only have a user... You can only have one user account on Windows. True and false. Okay, okay. So, number nine. So, let me create number nine. Right? Apparently, number nine is not here. Uh, here. False here. Okay, the answer is B. Okay, now, well, changes. All right, now I just fix it, right? Number eight. So number eight has problems. So I go to modify and then fix that manually, all right? If I have to look at my file, let me see. Let me see if my file is in here. On my desktop, number, number eight and nine, here we go. Number eight here. Okay, okay, here is a problem, right? Here is a problem. So, number nine, maybe it didn't go through, so I need to fix that, right? Eight and nine. All right. So, let me do this. I'm going to click next. 
next next and next okay so let me create a new one here uh, I'm going to create a new one because question number nine is not there so I'm going to copy this one for somehow it didn't pick it up so I just edit manually there true and false okay so the answer is false right I'm going to save this again I'm going to save like a new recycle bin add to the list right recycle bin add to the list okay now I have 13 questions right where is this do I have 13 questions now okay here we go so now I have 13 questions right I have 13 questions add to the end of the list okay the next thing I'm going to go to publish okay now I'm going to publish I'm gonna have to use publish wizard okay this information you need to copy and paste from here right you copy and paste from this one okay you need to go to STC website and go to the login interface of the blackboard and paste it in here right paste it there and paste it there extract it when you click extract you will uh, when you extract this when you extract the server information the responders will automatically populate the information here right then you need to enter your username and password click ok all right once you click OK, you need to click Next. Okay, you need to click Next. You need to wait for about 30 seconds, so be patient. At first, I thought that Respondus is not working. However, it's just a little bit slow. So be patient because Respondus need to communicate with our server. All right. All right, you notice that it takes about maybe 50 seconds, so be patient on that. Here, I'm going to choose my courses, my classes. I'm going to go to my SV5, all right? SV5, I'm going to put create new exam here, Windows, okay? And then click next, right? I'm going to click next. I'm going to post this on the week 2 folder, okay? Week 2 folder. Week 2 folder. And then click next all right now I'm finished here right since I already finished completed successfully click finish now I'm going to see the exam here right I'm going to go to course content and week number two folder I think from here you know how to do this right now I have my window practice question, so you just need to set it up, okay? You need to set this up, uh, show description, new window, 13 multiple choice questions, in 30 minutes, right? in 30 minutes all right make this available to student make this announcement so student will know this force completion and how long i give to them is 30 minutes okay so i'm gonna click here i'm going to do this force completion set timer 30 minutes auto submit on and then no password okay let's say that we want to give them until uh, 
when was it? Uh, 14, right? I'm going to give it a map to 14. Here. All right. PM. I'm going to 11.25 PM. Uh, all right. So include this test grade. Include this test in the grade center column. And then I usually don't allow them to view and one at a time okay click submit okay so notice that i have my window practice questions here for week number two one more thing i think i'm gonna do this one okay you notice that i'm gonna change this to seven point right seven point on all of them and i'm going to update it oh no that's not good uh well Let's put 7.5, right? 7.5. How about that? So 7.5 and then update it. Oh, it's, it must be a whole number. Okay. Let me put 8 then. All right. Boom. All of them update. Okay. So it come with 104, which is fine. So now i already finished this right so now i finally upload my test bank using respondus i hope that this video is informative and helpful to you all right uh, i record this while i'm uploading as well so you can actually see the issue that I have, right? And how to fix the problem. Okay. Thank you very much for watching.